Good morning, everybody. This is Dave over at Amerispec Inspections in uh, Greater Philadelphia. Um, broadcasting out of the home office today, but we want to talk a little bit about sewer scopes and sewer scope inspections in the city, uh, especially. And we talk a little bit about the suburbs also. So this morning, we're, we're going to talk about some of those common issues that we find um, in some of the sewer lines and some of the materials that we see, especially in the city uh, of Philadelphia. Um, so the, the big three materials that we commonly see uh, between the suburbs and the city are PVC, uh, which uh, presents itself as, as a type of white plastic uh, for people that aren't familiar with PVC lines. We see ABS, uh, sometimes it's not very common, but it's more of a, a black line that we see. Um, and usually it's an, an interior line, but uh, we do see it sometimes on the exteriors. And we see a lot of cast iron. Cast iron uh, was uh, used up until uh, about the mid to late 70s into the, uh, into the 1980s. Uh, but we do see a lot of cast iron, especially when we're doing scoping, going from an interior to an exterior. So why do we recommend a sewer scope in the first place? Uh, we recommend sewer scopes for a variety of reasons. The first being if the property uh, is older than 30 years old, we are definitely going to recommend the sewer line be inspected. 30 years is about that transition point, 30 to 40 years uh, being that transition point from the phase out of using cast iron into using PVC in uh, residential areas. Um, another reason for that age marker is even if it has been exchanged out with PVC, a lot of those outside foundation uh, areas of piping have not been replaced. Uh, we see this more commonly in the city uh, where you have uh, sidewalks and concrete um, over top of existing lines. So in order to replace some type of an existing line, you would actually have to tear up the concrete or the sidewalk area to do that. So most people will not do that. Uh, they'll replace the interior line and do a connector to a cast iron. Um, what we see with a lot of the cast iron lines, uh, especially in the city and in those areas where the homes are, you know, built in the 1960s, 1950s, uh, 40s and older, is uh, we're looking for things like uh, cracks and debris. Um, more in the suburbs than in the city, we see root intrusion where roots are growing from trees or something from above ground and it's actually intruding into the cast iron. Uh, these things are very important to find because they can cause backups into the home, uh, can cause further damage, it can cause erosion underneath the piping, uh, especially with cracks and um, the possibility of sewage or moisture escaping to that. Um, so having the sewer scope inspection, it's, a, it's more invasive than the regular home inspection. Um, but we do recommend absolutely having, having that done on that point. A couple of other reasons we might suggest having the sewer scope done. If we know that there's uh, multiple types of materials being used, uh, as we just mentioned a little bit ago, um, if we see that there's PVC going to cast iron or ABS going to past, uh, cast iron, um, we might suggest having that line done because we know the line's been worked on, but the original or pre-existing line is still in play as well. So we wanna know if there's uh, any issues down there. Uh, another reason that we recommend sewer line inspections is on rehabs. Um, a lot of people think uh, that a rehab is going to be great because it has this brand new line going to it, uh, but we don't know what's in that line, uh, especially what we're finding with uh, some of the spots in the city is that we'll find lines that have uh, screws. Some of them have had sheetrock in them, uh, which is a little hard to believe, but we've, we've actually seen that. Um, silicone or caulk, things like that, that wind up in there during the uh, rehabilitation process or construction process on a home. Um, another reason may be is if there's a, a smell of sewer gas coming into the house. If you're getting that odor or that backup, that's uh, definitively a reason that we want to see what's going on inside the line. Um, as I said, we, we deal with primarily three main types. Uh, the fourth type of piping that we deal with, uh, and it's very rare to find, but is still existent, uh, especially in areas of Levittown, Bucks County, is a product called Orangeburg. 
And uh, if you guys see me looking away, I always want to make sure I get the uh, the, the right um, definitions on these things. So Orangeburg is not something we see a lot of, but we do see it from, from time to time. Um, it's normally a black piping. Uh, the joints, they're compressed fit. Uh, they come in about 10 foot sections and it's only got about a 30 to 50 year life expectancy on it. Now in comparison, uh, cast iron has, you know, 75 to hundred year life expectancy and PVC uh, according to the standards as a 50 to 500 year life expectancy to it. So PVC is definitely going to be the, the best choice to go with on a line, but we do recognize that we're going to see some of these older lines in play um, and Orangeburg, when we look at the camera uh, going through these, typically they're not circular anymore. There's been enough settlement that these compress very easily. They're more fragile than cast iron and will will present themselves almost looking like uh, almost like an egg shape inside the, uh, the camera um, during that inspection. So, you know, those are really the typical reasons that we want to see our clients get a sewer line done. We want to make sure that um, they get them done, uh, A, if the line is older than 30 years, if there's multiple materials being used for the line, um, if there is any failure in the line that's evident. So if we see existing damage, of course, we're going we're gonna to want to do that. Um, on homes that have been rehabbed or renovated, and uh, anytime that there's a possibility of sewer gas or things of that nature, we want to see that we get that done. So uh, that's our quick tidbit for today on sewer scoping. Um, if you have any questions, always feel free to call us. Our number is 215-494-9690. And this is Dave at Amerispec Inspections of Greater Philadelphia telling you all to have a great day. Bye-bye now.